right, Tuesday morning, a day after Labor Day weekend, uh, we're about six minutes away, a bit less, uh, from opening, and uh, again today I will be trading my 150k uh, evaluation account. Today I have, and I hope I'm going to pronounce it right, weather other indicator, and I am filtering it with a cross indicator, a uh, moving average cross indicator. Let me quickly show you the different um, settings so you can see. You can take a screenshot of the settings. There you go. I just quickly explain to you um, what the idea is. So the idea is that I only want to trade in the direction of the moving average. Um, so, for example, here, the moving average stays bullish, right? It stays bullish. Um, I'm not interested in the short as a result, but I am interested, for example, I'd be taking this uh, long on the weather other <laughs> indicator. So, my understanding is it is a kind of a volume indicator, um, and it's pretty good. Um, again, I just think it needs a little bit of help, so something like a, a moving average cross, kind of together, uh, works uh, really well. And again, just kind of ignore uh, the short, obviously, we're still bullish. And then uh, things are changing, so this would still be a valid long for a scalp. Uh, then you can see here the cross, right? So now I'd be looking for shorts only, and right now I got this long, which I ignored. And my next trade now, unless now, if if uh, the moving average um, uh, crossover becomes bullish, then of course I'll be looking for long trades. As of right now, it still did not happen, so uh, still looking for shorts. And uh, yeah, gonna let them open up, maybe give some time for them to come down, and then uh, start the week. Okay, so they're opening up. I just missed this one actually. <laughs> that was a short trade. Just missed it. That's alright. Um, I'm gonna wait for a bounce here. Uh, that was a shame. Missed that one. Uh, so again, because the cross is now to the downside, this moving average uh, crossover is to the downside, I was looking for the short and I missed this one. Got a little too distracted. All right, so here is the bounce. Now let's see, let's see what they give me here. So if there was, uh, so I'm not interested in this long right now, uh, but let's see if they give me a short, unless the moving average crossover becomes bullish, and then I'll be looking for longs. So just a way to filter, you know, just just for extra confirmation. Now we have the cross to the long side, so I'm no longer looking for shorts. So choppy, but I am st staying out of the chop. Again, a confirmation could keep you out of chop. And that is the whole point of, of, of filtering. Okay, cross is now again to the downside. And actually, there Order is filled. this signal here on the water outer, so I can just uh, stay short, maybe put my stop slightly higher over here. Now, if the cross goes bullish, I will get out of the tr this trade even before the stop is hit. And I'm getting out. Order filled. Very choppy. Got caught in one losing trade because of the chop, but it's all right. We have a cross to the upside on the moving average cross. Order filled. Let's try this long. Stop filled. Okay, so still a bit negative. I don't like it when the first uh, trade of the week is negative, but it is what it is. Order filled. You start, uh, you know, digging yourself out of the hole. Not the ideal situation, but it is what it is.
next up filled. Okay, so slowly working myself out here. Again, I don't like to start with a loss, but it is what it is. Let's see, I'm looking for bearish now. This is a bullish signal, but the crossover so far is bearish. I am looking for bearish. Another crossover is bullish. <laughs> Alright, gonna be patient. Very choppy. So here's a crossover again to the downside. Order submitted. Let's see if they fill me. Oh, they run away without me. Oh, that's terrible. They ran away without me. It was a limit order. Let's see if I still can get filled. <laughs> Ran away without me. Look at that. Look at that. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I'm gonna cancel Order that. canceled. That's a shame. But you saw the demonstration of it, right? There is the sell here after a cross is bearish, and here it is. I mean, that's. Order filled. Okay, trying a bullish here. Trying a long. Stop filled. And stopped again. Order filled. Order order filled. Okay. Now we have a uh, bearish moving average cross. Stop filled. Order submitted. Order filled. Order filled. Stop filled. Stop filled. Right, still down a bit. It's been tough. Very choppy. Very order very choppy. order filled. Very very choppy. Still down a bit. Again, I will be out if the moving average cross turns bullish. But until then, I'm okay here with shorts. Stop filled. Barely. Nope, now it went negative. Now it went positive again. Order filled. Again, together with the indicator, uh, the water arrow going um, long, so I can take a long gear because they both went long pretty much at the same time. So trying along here, looking to get to break even. It's been tough. It's been tough. Order yeah. filled. We are going to take it. The cross here. See that? Went negative. Don't want to be long anymore. So, boy. Boy, it's been tough. It's been rough. What a way to start the week. Well, down a couple of hundred. Not horrendous, but it's just been difficult. No direction, really. Kind of... Looks like we're in a, like in a 30 point range. Very tough. That's all right. Eventually things will open up. Sometimes it's necessary to take this kind of a loss. It's just how it is. The moving average crossover is bearish. I'm not looking for longs right now. I'm trying to see if I can identify a short. Order submitted. Don't leave without Order filled. There we go. This time they got me. <laughs> okay. There we 
we go. Come on. Stop right. filled. All right, fighting back, fighting back. You thought it was always uh, smooth, uh, smooth sailing, right? Nope, nope. That's not real trading. As you can see, this is real time. Only been 25 minutes, boy. It has not been an easy 25 minutes. But even though I'm down, I'm not out. Okay. Order filled. Okay. Again, just as long as the moving average crossover remain bearish, I will stay in the short position. They turns bullish. I am out. Stop filled. Okay, all right. One step at a time. Close to break even now. Rough start. That's all right. <laughs> Rough start, but we will make it happen. Yeah, so now, now the nice move happens. Unfortunately, I'm not participating, but it's been, wow, it's been really rough uh, so again this kind of combination though of using a moving average crossover to kind of filter some of the chop now I was not able to filter all of the chop probably not possible uh, but all things considered I'm only down slightly um, and we've been like I said I mean now we're opening up a little but we've been in like a, a 30 point range uh, so it's it's been tough there's a pullback. Now again, I'll still take a short as long as the moving average crossover stays bearish. Order filled. Okay. If the crossover goes bullish, I will get out. Up filled. All right. Wow. I see green. <laughs> My favorite color. I see green. Looking for a bar close to the downside here. Should have probably used the uh, EOB ordering here because not looking for a bar to close down. Order filled. It'd be a little easier with EOB ordering. Very nice, very nice, finally getting some breaks, <laughs> as I said, just survive the bad times. Then when things start moving nicely, it becomes a lot easier, so. Okay, if they give me another sell before the MA crossover goes bullish, I will take another sell, but it looks like they want to take it higher now. Indeed they do. Use the crossover. All right. Now looking for pullbacks to go long. Yeah, so better auto identifies the long all the way from here, but the moving average crossover was still bearish, so I did not take it. That's all right, because I also got saved from a whole bunch of very choppy market conditions because I chose to filter the direction. So... No, with filtering, obviously, it's like a double-edged sword, right? On the one hand, you get to stay out of some losing trades. On the other hand, yes, you will miss out on some winning trades. Uh, but again, no one ever blew an account from not making enough money. Just stay, if you can stay away from the losing trades, you have a, better, you have a much better chance of succeeding. Not possible to stay from all losing trades, of course. But maybe you can stay away from some. Okay, let's see. Just a little higher, maybe. There we go. Nice. 
There we go, here we go. So you know what, we suffered a little at first. Big deal, happens. But here we are, and I am now within the range of between 300 and 500. Now, I took quite a few trades, so maybe I'm up only 400, maybe even a bit less. Um, but what started off is a tough morning. Here we are. 40 minutes after the open, I reached my goal for this evaluation account. So I'll put it aside now. And um, it's always tough to kind of start the week with a losing trade, but if you have a good enough system, if you have terrific indicators, you can fight your way back and still have a winning day. So I will be showing my rhythmic dashboard once all the trading is done, but uh, this is the 150k valuation and I'm going to put it aside for now. Alright, so now that I'm done trading, maybe I kind of go back and, and explain my approach again. I'm not sure if I was <laughs> clear at first, you know, again, uh, right before trading, um, this is all live, so I get distracted just kind of focusing on the charts. But now, uh, let's see what this is. It. So, uh, this is, um, so this is the moving average crossover and this is what filters for me the trades from water adder explosion i hope i'm pronouncing this name right so the water adder <laughs> has uh really two signals here this is the original kind of like the the beginning of a move and then this one is the confirmation as long as you're filtering with something like a moving average crossover I think either one is fine. Probably this one is a bit more conservative because uh, this kind of confirms a continuation of a move and that's not just some kind of a chop here. Um, so, you know, uh, so you, you look first for the cross. Here is the cross, right? This is the moving average cross. And this is the first signal in this case to the long side. So, uh, so this is the whole approach. Not complicated, but very effective. Um, it was really, I mean, as difficult as this morning was, it still kept me out of some pretty bad shop. Obviously, you cannot eliminate all losing trades, but I think they did an excellent job of keeping me out of shop. That first half hour was just terrible. Uh, and then again, see continuation trade, you would ignore uh, the short, of course, and then here is another long here with a confirmation, definitely enough uh, for a scalp. So, um, and, and, you know, I mentioned this before, you know, with most indicators like this, the first signal is always the best. Uh, this one is still fine, uh, but obviously not as good as, as the first one. Uh, so this was my approach today uh, using these two indicators. And I think I showed uh, the settings, but let's just take a look again. Uh, these are the settings. Take a screenshot. In general, uh, the moving average crossover is a very effective filter. Uh, would I just trade it by itself? Mm, not sure. Uh, but as a filter, it, it is great. It, it can work with a number of indicators, um, even mixing a higher time frame, let's say, on a moving average crossover and then the actual chart where you would take your trade from, maybe you have some, I don't know, rev out or something. Um, you can have it on a smaller time frame in a direction of the um, moving average crossover. So um, lots of ways to use this indicator. Very effective if you are looking for a filter uh, and, and probably most indicators could use a filter uh, this is a pretty good one. All right, so uh, yeah, very sideways day. Uh, this was a difficult day, as you can see. Took a whole bunch of trades after commissions. Uh, still within my daily goal, which, as I say, between three and 500 uh, for this account, but it, it was tough, and that's why I stopped. I didn't even want to keep going. Uh, really, a really tough day. Uh, so um, yeah, so this approach, uh, with uh, filtering the water adder explosion with 
uh, moving average crossover is a very nice approach like a comprehensive kind of an approach does keep you from some of the chop uh, unfortunately that first trade was a losing trade but then recovered uh, nicely but again you know you can only say <laughs> you can only take what the market is willing to give right so so today not only really in the morning but throughout the day just been really uh, really tough and so uh, you know you only want to kind of stay with the larger um, uh, trend so uh, here there were definitely opportunities on the short side right because in this case uh, the moving average crossover is bearish so you would ignore the low and kind of go for the short here for the short here and again just scalps they did not give you much there was not much today so in this long right we have a long uh, moving average crossover here is the long here for a nice trade after a retracement another one not sure if I was, would take this one but again here there was another enough for a scalp but yeah I mean just just sideways so uh, but that's alright I mean look there, there are days like this you, we, we can't escape it and so um, I'm progressing uh, nicely so now what like uh, 3700 away from uh, completing this uh, challenge I, and I'll I forget what day it is maybe 10 9 10 11 I don't know uh, somewhere there uh, so I'm not putting any pressure on myself as far as let's complete this in one month that that's not how I roll I, I do need to put pressure on myself <laughs> the markets put on enough pressure so whenever I complete it I complete it um, make sure you subscribed because in the next video I'm going to be combining again the moving average crossover with fiber scalping so it's going to be again kind of the moving average crossover will give me the direction and then the fiber scalping is going to be um, only trading in the direction of this um, uh, higher time frame or filter or whichever way uh, you want to put it so uh, again make sure you're subscribed I hope you left me a like and uh, always take a look in the description and I'll see you guys next time